Let's go inside. Come on. Come on. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on. Let's go outside. Let's go inside. Go pee. Come on. Let's go. You have to go outside today. I know you want to be quarantined, but you have, Bubby. Bubby, let's go do business. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Bubby. Bubby. You cannot stay inside all day. You have to go pee. Let's go. Come on. Let's go do business. Come on. <laughs> this dog has self-quarantined. Let's go outside. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Jeez Louise. Come on. Let's go do business. Good morning, everybody. It is about 7 a.m. I've been up since 5, but I just laid in bed, answered emails, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I am so excited and honored and happy and um, overwhelmed by the response from all of you about the videos and this idea of vlogging every single day. Um, the decision's been made that all the money I make during the, these videos for however long this goes, um, as well as any of the merch, um, is going to be donated to charity. I haven't decided which charity um, or charities I'd like to donate to. There are a few that Steve and I are super passionate about. Right now, this is all about bringing joy in every level that I'm capable of while at home, so I'm able to do that and very blessed to be able to do that. So that is the plan. Today, I have it all planned out. We can go over that a little bit later. But the first thing is I just have to get some coffee in me. I had zero coffee yesterday though. Um, so I'm gonna make some coffee and yeah, probably do a little bit of journaling. Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna journal and I'm going to get some coffee. A lot of you have been asking where I'm getting my journal prompts from. I literally type in a Google image search, March journal prompts, and they come up. Just literally Google search a month and journal prompts and things will come up. And I've been really happy with all of them. Um, yeah, that's where I've been finding them. And journaling has been so cathartic and therapeutic and wonderful and some days I write a lot some days I write very little but I'm enjoying it so much um, so I'm gonna make some coffee gonna do a little journaling and get to quarantine day two what are we gonna call this corona vlog quarantine miss I would love your thoughts vlog and teen which, what do you think we should call this? Leave your comment down below. Corona, corona, corona vlog? I don't know. I'd love to hear someone come up with something very witty that we can call this. But I'm gonna get some coffee, do some journaling, and then we'll catch up. So I keep thinking about how do we keep spreading joy? How do we keep this? positive and fun. So I'm gonna have little challenges and games here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Today's game is, in the comments below, I want you to refer to your kids as coworkers and say something that they did today. So an example could be, my coworkers were still in bed at 10 a.m. So use coworkers instead of kids and tell us what your coworkers did today. Um, and we'll just have a good laugh from all of it. So I had my coffee, I answered a bunch of emails that I got last night and this morning. I sent out a couple that I needed to send out. Um, and uh, it's about eight o'clock. I'm going to work for another hour and then maybe go for a walk or something um, to just like get some fresh air even though it's really cold out. Um, so I'm gonna go wrap up some work, but I'm so excited to hear what your coworkers um, have done today. I just remembered 
Last weekend, Danielle and I were traveling and we had had you ask some questions and we actually did film it. So I'm gonna cut away from a week ago of Danielle and I having a little car time, a little car chat, answering some of your questions. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember we were driving back from Skinny Atlas and we were singing that Demi Lovato song and yeah, I ready. and ready I hit the it. octave no I hit the octave like aggressive part and we just like laughed for ten minutes straight because I was so invested. Wasn't it confident? No, was it, it was confident? no. It was um, um, uh, uh, tell me no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was tell me, tell me. Oh wait, up. what is it called? Tell me you love me. Yes. And I like hit it hard, but it wasn't a <laughs> It was absolutely amazing. <laughs> it was so aggressive. <laughs> um, hello everybody. Danielle and I are on a road trip together. Um, we are actually not like going on a fun road trip. Yes. We will make it fun. Yeah. But um, Danielle and I both work together. So we are going on a leader retreat as they like to call it. It's just and an added bonus to work with your best friend. <laughs> it truly is because we actually get to travel together at least once a month. Mm -hmm. um, but so we're on a road trip. We're driving and we have a good two and a half hours still left in our drive so on instagram if you're not following me which you should because we have some fun over there um i asked you all to ask danielle and i some questions and uh danielle has them pulled up on her phone and we're just gonna chit chat a little bit answer some questions and some of them are really really good and really thoughtful um so we're just i'm handing it over to danielle um so the first question was how long have you known each other and how did you meet you can answer it. So, it's seven, seven years. Seven years. Yeah, seven years. Uh, we met the first day at my job. Uh huh. Actually, Christopher interviewed me. I did. Um, and decided to hire me. So that was pretty amazing. And we, actually, the first time we we went out, just the two of us. Do you um, Because our our spouses were like. Please go out together. Uh -huh. um, we went to a Sarah Bareilles concert and at the Armory, standing room only. <laughs> and our love of music, theater, everything, singing out loud and drinking wine. Do you flourished. remember the first time we actually like talk talk though? It was at that weird diamond conference table during lunch. You were sitting on one side and I like came and joined all of you. And Real Housewives came up and we all started like talking about it was like during oh, August training. It's clearly a love. And oh, I, I don't mean, remember that. I remember it clear as day and we like diamond all in the basement? Remember that weird long diamond? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we all sat and ate lunch down there one day and I was like we started talking about Real Housewives and like then we connected and we had stayed like really good like friends during the work day and then I remember one night I was yeah. like I want to go to the Sarah Bareilles concert I'm going to text Danielle and see if she'll go with me both of our husbands are extremely we're happy, happy. <laughs> that we're in each other's life oh, because yes. they always tell us that him and I get to do things together that they don't want to do with us it's actually perfect yeah. it is perfect what snacks do you pack while tripping well, we're both Diet Coke drinkers. Yes, and we have yeah. Swedish fish. McDonald's, McDonald's makes has the has the secret ingredient in it. I swear. One from, of from um, Coke. What I had seen that question earlier, and I was like, oh, what do we pack? Do you remember when? Were we driving through New Jersey this year and we stopped and got the best McDonald's hash browns we've ever had in our whole entire no, life? I think we bought each like three. <laughs> yes. We got, like before a meeting, <laughs> we found a random McDonald's in got New Jersey, and got hash Cokes and hash browns and walked in. To a meeting, but it was literally the best hash. It was the best McDonald's hash brown yeah. I've ever had. They were like just crispy enough, like, <laughs> and soft oh, on the yeah. inside. They were so literally good. the best hash brown <laughs> I I've ever had. <laughs> we walked into really, a meeting with them. What is the best quality that you see in each other that you don't have yourself? That's a good one. Oh, I know what <laughs> I know what mine is for you. I, no, mine's funny. <laughs> mine's not funny, but it's actually something that like I admire in you so so much. Um, I would say actually, there's two that stand out to me. Okay. One is Danielle has a way of being assertive 
especially in our, our, our job as leaders that we have to be, but she can balance, like she balances her assertiveness and expectations in like a really firm but still warm way. I find with myself, I go one way or another. I'm either like fully firm and like straight on or I'm like too soft. Like I, I don't have the balance, um, but I wish I was able to balance it as well as she does. It's something I'd really admire. And then I'd say the other thing that I think I admire most of her, about her is not only is she able to do an incredibly high level of work, but she also balances being a great mother and wife. And I think I don't balance my my roles as well as she does because she's absolutely spectacular, but will be the last to ever toot her own horn. Thanks. It's hard being a mom doing this work. Oh, yeah. I would say for you, Christopher has way better decor skills than me. <laughs> <laughs> My house looks like a bomb hit it many, many days. And I think kids. you can walk into Christopher's house and he has like the latest and greatest decor. Like Christmas shopping with him is truly like not even Christmas shopping, like decor shopping with him. He just, like, has these visions and, like, has, like, every nitty-gritty detail that you actually do notice in someone's decor, like, down pat. And it seems flawless and easy and, like, so thoughtful and, like, just such a nice, like, cozy touch when you go into his house. So I really appreciate that because I do not have that. I'm people, trying to build it up. People ask all the time if we have a cleaning lady, and I'm like, no. No. But that is what my house looks like any time no. you come. Right. I also think Christopher, when I think about him, he does an incredible job leading from the heart, um, which is not an easy task when you manage many adults. <laughs> and um, I think like he does what's right for in the work that we do for what's best for many people um, in our community. And I think that it has taught me a lot to learn under his leadership over many years. And so that part is, is good about the work. He also knows every word to every song ever. And you're like, oh, I love this song. And then he's like, I don't know what it is. And then knows every word. And it's like, what? Where did that just come from? I also wish I could use that brain space for something far more productive than song lyrics. Hey, whatever makes you happy. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> Have you ever had a big argument that caused you to take a break from each other? We did have one. We did. One. We had one fight. But like now, looking back at it, I don't remember. What I don't remember <laughs> what it was about. But I remember there was like two or three weeks where we didn't really talk. Yeah. But I, I don't think remember it was what over it was about. Something silly. I don't know. I feel like when we don't agree with each other, though, we say it, and we actually yeah, respect I, each other's views. I would one hundred percent say that that. And I would also say whatever that one was, was really early on in our friendship, too. Mm -hmm. I also think for the type of people that if we say something um, to each other that we don't agree with or, like, give each other feedback, we perseverate around it, that we actually talk it out yes. <laughs> much better. I would agree. Because we, like, can't go to bed. I will Just like with our spouses, I, I, I can't do that. I will also say... This year was I was like super busy and there were like a bunch of nights where I fell asleep at six so I like did not answer her text for like two or three days and finally she was like you're ignoring me I don't know what is wrong what is wrong and I was like I'm literally barely staying awake when I get home at night like and during the day like we are full speed ahead um, but there was like a period of time where I didn't answer her text for like three days and she's like I don't know what's going on stop ignoring me and I was like I really am not. I also want to blame that on postpartum anxiety <laughs> that I currently I have a 10 month old so oh. you know um, you overthink things in the postpartum phase to a drastic measure. What's my excuse then for overthinking? <laughs> I haven't had any children. I don't know. I, she, I rub it off on She you. literally is like get off the ledge. You're fine. <laughs> Nothing is wrong. That is typically a large portion. You guys know that we have a phone call every single day home to each other. That is actually a very large portion of our phone calls. Danielle telling me I'm emotionally hijacking myself <laughs> and to stop. Oh, so I just wrapped up. I ended up getting completely consumed with work and just sitting at the dining table and working for a couple of hours. Um, 
I actually am feeling super productive. Although I didn't film a lot, I did, however, um, get so much done. Today, I really wanna try to do like a run walk. Um, I haven't ran on my leg since I heard it um, at the end of January, so this would be the first attempt. I'm gonna tape it up really well. I am gonna wait to see if it gets a little bit warmer because right now it's pretty cold, um, but that's what my plan is today. I need to get outside, get some fresh air. That's a huge recommendation I have to all of you. But it is 10.30 and I've gotten so much work done and I've just kind of had a really productive morning. Go out and get fresh air with people. Make sure you keep distance away from other people. Don't go like rollerblading. I'm gonna, <laughs> like the people in San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco, for all you peeps, you need to learn what social distancing looks like. We saw a video of people in San Francisco rollerblading, holding hands, like... Kissing. Kissing. <laughs> um, he knows all about social distancing. Look how many feet away he is staying from Steven. Uh-oh. He is surfing on the stole. Wait, what's your issue? We have birds nesting on our porch, so I'm, Bubba's and I are looking out the window and trying to keep them away. I also need you to see, although I don't want them to be able to read anything on the screens, he has an, uh, Stephen has a very elaborate setup right now. Yeah. A laptop, a PC computer, and then also a Mac. Well, the, and he tells me I have a screen addiction. He literally has a screen addiction. No, I need, because I have, I have three monitors at work in my office, so I need to have the dual monitors and the Mac. If anyone knows how to set up a Mac uh, to mirror a uh, PC, let me know, because I don't know how to do it and I couldn't find out. So the Mac is just there. Um, but you still use your Mac. Yeah, I use it for like music and I can get my email and stuff on it, but I need, um, I need the dual monitors to be able to work. And... I also have my phone, so I have actually... Four. Oh. <laughs> you have five screens in front of you. But I'm only... With, and then there was my measly work set up in the dining room, which just has two notebooks and my tiny, lightweight work laptop. Oy. Although my office setup for editing is a little bit more elaborate. How much work have you gotten done today? I've been productive. I've been so productive too. I feel really good about it. I know. It's, um, you know, because it's just a different environment and I can contact everyone I need to contact. Um, it's a little difficult, but, you know, we're, I'm making do. I think we'll figure out how to navigate it as time goes on. Yeah. It'll that's get what, easier. That's what, my, that's what my people said, that it was difficult. It'll be difficult at first, but then we'll sort of know what to do. This is, um, an interesting circumstance we find ourselves in. All right, I think you are taking Bubba's for a walk. I'm gonna go for a different run, walk-ish thing, and then we will reconvene for lunch. And this guy is in charge of dinner tonight. Oh, we have a taco, we're having tacos. He's gonna, oh wait, we didn't set them out. I did, I put okay. them in the fridge, yeah. I put the, the ground beef, or the ground turkey in the fridge. All right. We need a Bubba's update. Bubba's, what's going on out there? I am monitoring all animals for social distancing. See, you are getting too close, and so now I'm getting further away from you, six feet apart, please. He has a crumb in his beard. Do not touch my face. That's how you spread a virus. He is a virus. He's the cutest virus. Who's the cutest? Who's the cutest virus? Who's oh, the cutest? He's He's a tick magnet lately, so I don't know, hopefully. Say a tick is the least of our concerns right now. And what's it gonna, he already has Lyme's disease. He already has Lyme disease, yeah, but that's bacterial, so. All right. So that's gonna be the game plan and then we'll see you all for lunch. I just got back from a run. Um, it's the first run I've done since I've, uh, injured my knee. I ran a mile, walked a mile, and then ran 1.8. So almost three miles um, for my first run. I'm really happy with that. I am all cleaned up from my run, and now I'm gonna eat lunch, but I have like no appetite. So I did slice up a cucumber with a little coarse salt and pepper. I also have a hydro flask full of water because I have not, I haven't even drank one of these today, and I need to get at least three in. And let's go see what the others are up to. Look at you self-distancing again. That's twice today. 
Oh, such a good, oh, nope, you're ruining it. You're yeah, ruining it. He's staying six feet apart. What are you doing? I got these lottery tickets and I forgot about them. So I figured, you know, because everything's all, everyone's luck is bad and everyone's depressed. Maybe we won't Maybe you money. stand a chance because yeah. you never win anything. Exactly. But. You self distance like a good boy. Yes, you is a good boy. Who's a good self distancer? All right, he's going to play the lottery. He's going to continue to practice self distancing. And I'm going to eat my cucumbers and drink my water. It is around 3.45 and um, I just set down my work laptop again. I literally, I am feeling so good. It's not been the best video day. Luckily I have that footage from Danielle and I, but I have had the most productive work day um, and it feels so good. And then it felt good to run. Um, it's really what my mental health needed today. And yeah. Stay productive, stay scheduled, give yourself some workspace, and um, yeah, it's been really, really helpful. I think for my physical and mental health, today has been just a really, really great, great day. Steven is napping upstairs. <laughs> he also worked a lot today um, and has been very productive, and he is going to make dinner, so I will totally, totally allow him to take a nap, um, but I don't even know what I'm gonna do next. I do wanna like slow down on my work because I don't want to run out of things tomorrow to do. Um, but between yesterday and today, I've gotten a solid amount of hours of work done. Um, so that feels just great. All right. I don't know what to do. Day three of the quarantine, and I do not know what to do. But I hope that you are all doing so, so well. Um, I know it is just a weird time, but I truly, truly believe one of the best things you can be doing is keeping a schedule for yourself. Keep a schedule. Um, make the most of all this time, and just keep plugging away. All right, I'm gonna put you down and see what I can get into next. So I was just checking off of my planner and I think truly my friends, like I was just saying, the best thing you can do is stay on task and stay super scheduled. Um, it's just really helping me um, to be A, really productive, but also help keep me a little bit distracted. Like I said, normally I would plan out my entire week, but I'm kind of doing it day by day. Um, it's just making it slightly more manageable also, it gives me um, something to do. Um, so after dinner this evening, I'll sit down with a glass of wine and I'll map out what I want Thursday to look like. All right, my friends, I'm in my office and I am just finishing editing the video and I'm gonna wrap it up um, for today. And um, yeah, remember, um, check out my merch shop down below, link down below all the proceeds that we make um, off of videos and the merch shop are gonna be donated to charity. So please, please, please check it out and let's do all that we can to support. Um, plan your days, make the most of this. This is a time for self care. And I hope that these videos are just giving you a little bit of space, a little bit of joy, maybe a couple laughs here and there. Uh, but I love you all and I will leave this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my beautiful friends, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.